Hello, this is the NAPCO P1632 alarm panel and in this video I will show you how to wire the MDAM communicator to the panel and how to program a wizard keypad address for Keybus functionality. We have the positive and negative wires of our communicator, we have the red wire which is the positive wire of our radio, then we have the black wire which is the negative wire of our communicator. Both of those wires are connected to the aux power terminals of the panel. The red goes to aux power positive and the black goes to aux power negative. Then we have the input and output of our communicator. The orange wire is the output of the communicator and that goes straight to the green keypad terminal on the panel. And then we have the white wire in our communicator which is our input that goes to the yellow keypad terminal of the alarm panel. We have the green wire which is our ring wire and goes directly to the telco ring terminal. And we have our yellow wire which is our telco tip wire which goes to the telco tip terminal of the alarm panel. The next step in the setup is the programming of the alarm system for a wizard keypad address. In order to go into programming in this panel I need to enter my six digit installer code which is 456789 and then I need to press the menu button. Then I need to press the bypass button until I see activate program. Then I need to press enter to go into the programming. Once I'm into programming, I need to press the reset button in order to go to the address programming of the panel. The first section that I need to go to in order to program an alpha wizard address will be 0724. And I will need to set it up as 21. 2 stands for wizard keypad and the 1 stands for partition 1. I will then press enter to save that and then press menu button to go back to the address programming. The next section that I go to is 0725 and that's for my secondary address. Once again I'm going to set it up as a wizard keypad by pressing 2 but this time I will press 2 again so it's set up for partition 2. I will press enter to save that and then press the reset button to go out of the programming. Once I'm out of the programming mode of the alarm panel, I can start the synchronization process from the R Control mobile application. I will press sync with panel. And then the R Control application will prompt me to go back into programming of the system and go through the keypad addresses and zone numbers of the alarm panel. I will press OK. And once again, I will enter the programming mode with my six digit installer code, 456789, and then press menu, and then press bypass until I see activate program. Then I press enter to go into programming. Then I'm going to press the reset button to go to the address programming. The first address I'll go to is 0724. That will read the configuration of my first keypad address. Then I'm going to press the menu button and then I will press 0725 and that will read the configuration of my secondary keypad address. Then I'm going to press the menu button and I'm going to go to address 0526 and that will read the configuration of my zones on partition 1. Then I'll press the menu button again and then press 0527 to read the configuration of my zones on partition 2. Then I'm going to press the reset button and go out of programming and I'm going to give it a couple of seconds so our control application can finish up the synchronization process. As you can see the R control application now is seeing two partitions. If I want to arm my first partition in away mode, I will slide my button to the left. Then I will enter my four digit pin code. And that arms my first partition in the away mode. If I want to arm my second partition in stay, I will slide to the right. Once again, I'm going to enter my four digit pin code. That will arm a second partition in the stay mode.
if I want to disarm the system, I will slide the button to the middle and then enter my pin code, and that will disarm the system. Then I'll do the same for partition one. Now my system is fully disarmed.